All right, so we got a piece of good news, which is that Daniel Cormier and Stipe Miocic are going to fight a third time. Now, I love that, and that was the fight to make, but I also like the fact that it's a trilogy. I mean, I think that's something we can celebrate. Trilogies are fun. We see them a lot in the boxing world, but we don't see them a lot in MMA. And for a trilogy, for me, I'm talking about a true trilogy, okay? Not the third time guys fight. When guys go to fight a third time and they both have a victory over one another leading in to that contest, that's what we have here. You have an added element, which is Daniel Cormier said, this is going to be my last fight ever. And it seems like for the last four or five years, Daniel can't turn around without being associated to when are you and if are you and are you willing to fight John Jones again? So now his marching orders and his path and his trajectory are very clear. It's Stipe. Great. There was a thread that came out from the kids on the underground talking about that fight won't happen until 2020. Stipe has an eye injury. Well, first off, 2020 is 10 weeks away. I wouldn't expect that that fight would happen any sooner than that. Oh, and by the way, the pay-per-views are already mapped out. They're lined up and they're full. Now, there was a rumor going around, I think even started by Dana, so more than a rumor, that they may have three title fights on the December 14th card. We've already got Max and Volkanovsky. We've already got the Iron Lady and Amanda. So then there was, well, it looks like maybe the heavyweight championship's gonna go. Listen, guys, I must tell you, and tell me if you're with me, I've been a perfectly good guy this year, but leading into the holiday season, I don't deserve three title shots in one night. Do you? Do any of you deserve three title shots in one evening? If we're being fair with each other? No, we do not. Oh, and by the way, Stipe and Daniel do deserve a little bit of a rest. I mean, that was a 20-minute war in the heavyweight division that involved each guy winning moments and rounds of a contest. Look, what I did think that was interesting is Stipe said the reason that he needs some time, I believe his exact quote, was I will be ready to fight as soon as I can see out of both eyes. He was having double vision of one eye from a number of eye pokes that he took in that contest with Daniel. I must tell you, that's news to me. I was there live. I didn't see it. I don't remember there being a halt in the action. I don't remember there being a, I don't remember Stipe pulling away and making a wincy face. That was just news to me. And there seems that somewhere over Daniel's career, he has been accused a number of times of being an eye poker. And there's a couple of guys that have. Chuck Liddell used to poke the eyes. John Jones pokes the eyes. I can tell you, my entire fight career, I fought 50 men. I trained every day. I never poked anybody in the eye. And that isn't to say that I somehow did it better than anyone. I'm just saying, I don't really get that. I don't really know how you put your finger in an eye. I mean, a large part of the sport is I hit you and you don't hit me. Well, if we accept that to be true with the sport, that means that we're good with where our body goes. We're good at making a fist and moving it in a forward direction and hitting the guy all about the head, chest, neck, and face. It means we're good with doing that with kick. Why can't you control your fingers? Why are guys poking fi uh, fingers in the eye? And I feel like that's a real hot button in MMA right now. We kind of have two things, two techniques that are stealing the headlines and going around MMA. First off, the flying knee. The flying knees made this big comeback and guys are getting hit with flying knees. I am one of those guys. And secondly is the eye poke. From the Duffy to the Congo to the Jeremy to now apparently even Stipe was poked in the eye. I do think that we need to be a little bit cautious about that. And if Stipe seeing double vision and he didn't even say anything, he didn't even complain about it. And the only reason it ever came up is because been offered and accepted another fight against the only heavyweight they could possibly find out there that could beat him. And all he wants to do is be able to see straight before he goes into it. I think that's reasonable. And I don't think he should be pressured. Oh, and by the way, for all of you 2020 Crusaders, it's almost 2020.